stick around to see how we made this dinosaur craft that could also be a dragon craft after we read the book Dragons Love Tacos. You're gonna love this versatile craft and it is so quick and so easy you won't wanna miss it. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Welcome back to my channel. I am Cheryl, the activity author. And if you are new here, make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video guys. This is a good one today. So now we came up with this craft after reading Dragons Love Tacos, right? So we decided to make a dragon, but the dragon ended up looking like a dinosaur. So we said, hey, it's a dinosaur craft, but can also be used as a dragon. <laughs> All right, only here on this channel, right guys? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you're gonna go ahead and paint your half plate. And we're using a dabber, so it's called a, a sponge dabber. You can find these at Dollar Tree or any craft art store around your area. All right, so this is the part that could make or break your dragon or your dinosaur. So you're gonna put the spikes on the plate like you see us doing, but if you would like to make this a dragon, go ahead and put some spikes along the dinosaur's neck, on the back of his neck, so that way he has that dragon look. Or he can have a stegosaurus look too. So it could be a dragon, but dragons look like dinosaurs, don't they? Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, see, so take extra spikes and put them on his neck behind his neck and then you want to end up putting some googly eyes if you have them and a smile we're just using a piece of yarn for his smile and that is pretty much it don't forget about the tail so we're going to cut the tail out and you guys can actually put spikes on his tail as well so it all works out so really the difference between a dragon and a dinosaur is where you put the spikes but in my opinion you can put the spikes all over because dragons look like dinosaurs and vice versa Anyway, so last step, we're gonna decorate our wonderful dragon dinosaur craft by putting some pom-pom balls. You can put whatever you have around the house. And now we are all done. See, ours actually looks like a brachiosaurus, but it's cool because you can make it whatever you want. If you guys enjoyed this craft with me today, make sure to check back tomorrow because it is National Craft Month, so we're doing a different craft every single day on my channel. So far, we are locked and loaded, guys, so definitely check back. And look at all my other crafts as well. So I will see you guys tomorrow for our next craft. Have a good day. Bye, guys.